Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, we are playing Boros Convoke. Boros Convoke has gone from a fringe metagame choice to one of the more consistent and powerful decks in the new format because of cards from Murders at Karlov Manor. So, Novice Inspector is one white for a 1-2 human detective when it enters the battlefield investigate. The reason that this is a huge printing is because it buffs two cards that were already very popular in the Boros Convoke deck, whose plan is to get as many creatures on the battlefield as possible and then buff them all using cards like Imidane's Recruiter and Sanguine Evangelist and hit the opponent for way too much damage way too fast. See, Novice Inspector, with its creature and artifact for one mana, makes Warden of the Inner Sky that much better, so you can use its ability to scry through your deck more often and faster, and it makes Gleeful Demolition better. This has gone from being a card that was part of the best case pie in the sky, like uh, Magical Christmas Land draw with Voldaire and Epicure, to now having two cards that enter the battlefield and make an artifact on turn one in Novice Inspector and the Epicure. And Gleeful Demolition means on turn two, it creates three 1-1 one, one Phyrexian Goblin tokens by blowing up your own clue or blood token. So that alone adds, makes the ceiling of the deck so much higher. More often than before, you are going to have four or five creatures on turn three. And then once you have those creatures, you can buff them with this new card as well. War Leader's Call. One, a red and a white. Creatures get plus one, plus one. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, this deals one damage to each opponent. So it both adds more damage in the creature bodies themselves and when they enter the battlefield. Life totals weren't meant to stand up to this much damage. And this deck moves faster than any deck in the meta at this point. This deck is guilty, in my opinion, of the most like, well, it's turn two and I can't possibly win moments currently on MTG Arena. When the opponent goes with like a Gleeful Demolition into a Knight Errant of Eos on turn two into an Imidane's Recruiter on turn three and attacks you for amounts of damage thought to be impossible. Board wipes aren't fast enough. It's hard to say that something is fast enough to keep up with this deck's best draws. So let's get into it and see just how much damage this deck can do these days. But CTB, isn't Boros just a worse mono red? No questions. Because you're wrong. This could be the best deck in standard. But the real question for me is how consistent is it? Let's dive in and let the nonsense begin. We're on the play. We have the draw, but we have a tapped land. And tapped lands are such the bane of this deck, man. They really are. But let's keep it. it it's, it's where you want to be. It's just the hard way to be there. Okay, Spyglass Siren. These type of decks, we can usually go too wide for these decks. Let's go with Human. And let's play the Bunnycorn. Just a little 1-1. One, one. No big deal. Behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. Whoa, opponent really likes making artifacts. I haven't seen Norton's Inquisitor out of this deck before. Dude, I think we keep playing the setup game. We're gonna hit them so hard very soon. But they don't see it coming yet. They don't know! Okay, yep, get it on. It's only attacking for seven, no big deal. How does that work? This makes it a five four. And it has two plus one plus one counters because it's an incubator token. In incredible, actually. That's insane! Anyway. Inspector. Epicur. Gleeful Demolition! I think you keep the blood over the clue just because of how much they cost to activate. Bang, bang, bang. One point off. One point off! They almost died on that board. Bunny corn, three lands. War Leader's Call. They almost died. Now, can they kill me? They have to solve it. They don't solve it until their end step. If they solve it, a non-creature artifact can become a 0-0 bird with flying. But they can't do it until their until next turn. 
Or they could do it on my turn, but I think my turn's gonna be too late. Bang, bang. Two ships passing in the night. I'm glad I got to go first. I'm pretty sure I would have lost otherwise. On the play. No one drop is so weird for this deck. It runs so many one drops, but here we are. I think we still keep it. Our bunny. Our bunny is so powerful. Rot Priest, okay. Another fast deck coming at me. Let's see who's got the juice. Obviously not blocking the Rot Priest yet. Awkward Warden, but yeah, I guess we play the, the call. I'm a little worried that they'll bounce the call, but they haven't done it yet. I also don't think we try to block the Rot Priest. We just race. Standard is but a race. And we have a pretty fast deck. Uh-huh, here's your creatures. Three poison, double call? I guess that's where we're at. Play the Warden. Sequencing, oopsie. I should have played this first. Missed one damage. See how bad that goes for me. It's only six. Who can kill who faster? Go? Sus. I think they have a march. If they have a march, then the right play is to pass ourselves and cast reinforcements and stoke in response to it. So let's uh, get their attention with an attack. Here it is. Hmm. Gone. We do it while they're tapped out. Or do we let them attack us? I want to let them attack us. I want them to think they're safe. That is, we'll call that risky. I mean, these are three threes. They have to do something about the block. And then in response, we can stoke. They go to 12. It's a lethal crackback. Augury, that lets them look at cards and proliferate. They don't have any colored mana left. I think we're just gonna wreck them. Uh, I love that Toxic's in their name because it goes with their deck theme. But I, we have the faster, we have the faster car in this case. Oh, red mana, why? Okay, actually this hand is kind of cracked. <laughs> Okay, turn one, tap land. Turn two, Inspector off Cavern, Gleeful Demolition. Turn two, no turn one play means no Knight Errant that turn. Turn three is the Errant. Turn four, the Recruiter. We just have to draw the land. I mean, it's definitely a keep. I think it's put this away. It's just too bad. Why the tap lands? It's like the only thing that checks this deck. But that doesn't give me comfort. It just makes me feel extra tilted every game because I don't have an untapped land. Mm, mm, it was right there. It was there. Ah, that's fine. We needed this anyway. Um, inspect. Demo. Did it. Do you have a way to kill four creatures with two mana? I don't think you do. Don't think magic is into that these days. Life gain. Somebody make a life gain video? Escort. Our creature you control with plus one plus one counter gets lifelink and indestructible. Yeah? 
All right, inspect. X among them, where X is the number of creatures that convoked Knight Errant. Uh, I think we just convoke with all of our creatures because then we have two mana to cast more creatures. Go as wide as humanly possible. Oh, we got the bunny. Okay, bunny corn. Another one. Let's go, bunny. How do I draw this every game? I only run one of them. It's kind of insane. That gains life. Got some life gain with their life gain. Here's the real question. We go bigger? Do we go bigger? So if I play this now, they block death touch here. Block, block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not that, not that impressive if we're being real, real. So let's go bigger. Kind of scared me. I thought I was going to whiff for a second. Keep it coming. It's fine. So we can do this. No, thank you. Uh, Yeah, let's combat them. I'm okay with them blocking here. They gain less life. Something was going to be the biggest. We don't have a way to give it trample. We may as well trade it before they gain more life and get more value out of the Sadistic Pilgrim. There's a case. There's a voice. Okay, now they get all these triggers. It feels so powerful. And they can give it lifelink and indestructible. Will that be enough to survive? It could be. It definitely could be. But math is for lockers da -da 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 -da. charge I think they'll survive my prediction with the four life that they're going to gain from the voice they survive I think I'm only about Two-thirds of the way there. Three-fourths of the way there, like I said. <laughs> All right. Can you do anything about the board? They got triggers. They got life gain. I'll just draw this card. They might have a bat to punish me, but whatever. Malia, love that card. I still think you're dead. You block, block, block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, <laughs> never didn't. Have it. That's what it's like to top deck the recruiter whenever you want. Oh, goodness. How does it happen? And I'm never lucky. If I can do it, everybody can do it. Turn to demolition. I'm a little worried about the Mirix and the Cavern of Souls mana, but I think it'll be fine. We actually are doing the thing on turn two, so imagine if we draw another human. Another one mana human, like a warden. Yeah, we're gonna have Knight Errant, actually. Oh, I've never done this before. Oh, how exciting. I'm the best at magic. Look at me! Crab dip. Dip right out of here, baby. 
<laughs> I'm too good at this game. And it's too slow. Yeah? I mean, it's oops all pain land, but you're supposed to be okay with that. This into this into, I don't know. So put that there. Warden. I mean, yeah, I guess I could have gotten rid of the reinforcements. Huh? Okay. Do it now. Let's get strong. Find our key cards, of which Thran portals ain't it. Double green. We have a mono green believer? Huh. Give it to him. Coming in for seven. Uh, what's a green mage to do? Well, they usually don't sweep the board. <laughs> okay. Yep. That, that's a, a four three vigilance you got there. Cool. I, I like your token count. Very impressive. Oh, come on. Nice. Do I want to trade? Sure. I didn't pay nearly as much for these tokens as they paid for their creatures. It's only 10. Take it. What do they have? Like unnatural growth? Can they hit me for lethal? Like that's the kind of nonsense they need. Uh, what'd it do? They put over there? Sharp eyed rookie. All right. They get to bite something and they can cast a creature, I think is how this works. Biting won't kill the warden. They play a beast taller instead of the rookie. I wonder why. Yeah, the encounter is a delayed trigger. They'll get this ability at the start of combat, so if they can buff. A creature, it might help. Oh, okay. No questions, but I just got hit by a hard hitting question. Well, look at their mono green. Oops, I got removal deck. Eh? Too bad I just need to play two creatures and they die. Because war leader's call is missed up. I mean, in a way, it's kind of cute. Mono green trying to remove things. We have the gleeful demolition curve into the evangelist. Let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, you go veteran first, right? And the next turn inspector, then demolition. And you gain all that sweet, sweet life. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't be don't just mono red here. Come on. I just want an original MTG experience. Then why are you playing Boros Convoke? No questions. I wonder if it's time for End the Festivities Red to return based on this stuff. Uh, yep. You got it. I don't have the artifact. I don't see a way to get the artifact, but we have this. <laughs> Just gonna pace us. We we gonna go fast. Evangelist and battle cry, yeah. So now they have to stop and kill that, which makes it harder for them to race, even with their trampoline swift spear. Oh, 
Go ahead, play with fire, I don't care. No recruiter off the top is sad. Nothing to target with gleeful demolition is sad. I think I avoid playing the portal. As long as I can. The damage could matter. Uh, okay. Oh, now we're thinking about blocking armor we mono red? Oh, yay, more land. Okay. We gain one life whenever a creature leaves the battlefield, so that's something. The race is breaking down. Our turns aren't as great as they were earlier. Play it tapped. I don't know what we need six mana for next turn, but the game's about to end one way or another. The veteran made all the difference here. Like having the veteran against mono red just shifted the game. I could see running four after this game. They got a Godric. They've got a flyer. Care to attack all? I would love that. Why didn't they play a big Devastator? This Devastator just has to trade and then they're dead next turn. That was a very bad play. We got really unlucky. But they made a really bad play there, I think. They play a big Devastator. Things go a lot differently. Now they have to kill me here or they're just dead in the air. I mean, game? Bats claim another victim in this standard format. <laughs> I mean, our draw was actually really bad. It Really, this draw was just the veteran and the evangelist carrying. And it still got mono red to zero. I mean, I take a win. On the draw, we've got the veteran, so I think we'll just keep it. Might be up against mono black. Against mono black, it seems to be like, do you have a hand that's fast enough? Or is Gix's command going to get you? Let's find out. We've got turn two bat. Our hand is not very fast. A lot of people take the recruiter. They take the recruiter. Okay, these wardens are getting silly. Let's be real. Shuffler, are you fine? Cool. They don't want block. They ain't got the guts. Uh-huh. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> the double bat attack is a bit much. We gotta say. Wait, mana. Warden. Life. Warden. Life. And pain. Activate Warden. Cool. You can't bat that. Could scry again, doesn't seem necessary. Punch him. At least if they gix his command, they give me back my creatures. Face down card. Any theories? What could it be? They missed a land. Hi. Down to four. Whatever this is, it had better be impressive. I am not impressed. Tournament rules, you must reveal your face down card. Tournament rules, a hunted bone brute. Well, well, well. I would have loved those two dogs. I would have given them good homes.
on the play with veteran and some convoke now ah, busted ham is a good hand we know we want to name human so we can play the veteran is that a cut down how to play around it do we resolute reinforcements or do we just throw both of these creatures out there I want the options to try to draw into a land if they kill one of my creatures. Let's play these. Bro. I was gonna use that. Warden is not good. It's not good for Convoke. I guess we try to set up reinforcements into Knight Errant. It looks like they have a go for the throat. So I don't really love trying to draw here. We might end up doing nothing good. We'll just go for the throat, my Warden. But uh, make him just keep holding up removal. That's fine. Okay. Well, now they don't have a go for the throat open. No stick, so no cut down. Play you. Play you. Two lands! Who needs more? This opponent, though. Oh, that was not great hits. <laughs> but that's okay. We need a land before we can even think about doing anything amazing. And we're not getting there, are we? Holy crap. Yep, there's the go for the throat. Or the bitter triumph, even better. Good chance all our stuff dies. Let's pass. Then we can flash in reinforcements after. And if they don't kill all our stuff, we can draw and try to get our land. Creature. Well, all our stuff's alive. Let's stay aggressive. Ugh. Cool. So this will be an evangelist. Let's get some damage in though. I think it's worth it. We just lose one, one, one. Let's reveal, let's, let's get the life for the evangelist first. I think they might block the veteran. I really hope they're not on Gix's command here. It would break my heart. Jump to combat. Pass the turn. Oh, opponent, you gotta do better than that. Battle cry. Thought they'd at least remove this. Are you dead? I, how is this so easy? It's so stupid easy. On the play. Um, hands okay, right? I mean, we're, 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 we are relying on pretty hard on Warden. Let's be real. Fortress. Ba -bow. We don't have the red mana. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Well, we can probably work on finding it. Dry's help. You're not red mana. It does give us recruiter. It does give us recruiter because of cavern, but it doesn't give us the warrior's call or the gleeful demolition. Is recruiter here enough? Turn three recruiter, smack you for oh so much. Does that put them down enough? I, I don't think we keep this. I think we go for the red mana because if we go call into recruiter, they're going to die. Life game. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh, I'm finding that red mana. 
There it is. <laughs> Bazinga. To the skies. What a card. One mana, four, five, flying vigilance. And growing. Don't forget a scry three. Malia. Dizzy bat. Yeah, I've been the bat. Gumdrops. Gonna need them gumdrops. You want some? Come get some. Okay. Then don't. What do I care? Show them suffering. Great suffering. Let's save one inspector. Yep, need that. So we can go demolition into recruiter easy, which means these are hitting for a lot more damage next turn. So do we want our opponent to block and kill two? Does it matter? I think we just do this. I think the assured damage is better. Even if they swept the board somehow. Demolition recruiter, bam. What they needed here is the that. <laughs> Only the that would save them. Can they gain a few more life? I don't think they can. They didn't get quite enough. Hey guys, join the army. We have cookies. I feel recruited. Join the Imidane crew. All we do is smash face. <laughs> All we do is win, 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 no matter what. Got a bigger diamond and I cannot get enough. Today's Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Brian Tamehama. Brian, thank you for joining the Cool Kids Club. You can hit the join button below. It's $4.99 a month. You get access to my videos 24 hours early. You get access to the recording session. You get to watch me live while I record or you can watch the VOD of it. And you get to chat during members only live streams and you might get a shout out in a video like this one. Brian Tamehama, you're cool. Boros Convoke is a deck that it's so hard to get me to say nice things about aggro decks because I find them disgusting, gross, and just a bizarre concoction. I came to play magic. Some people come not to play magic, just to be done with games of magic. That is Boros and Mono Red in a nutshell. They try to just kill you before you do anything cool. I came to do cool things. We're at odds. We're mortal enemies till the end. There's no question. But when that deck ascends to be one of the best things that the format can do, we have to cover it. It's important that we talk about it. This deck went nine and five in my time playing it and ranked me up to diamond one from the bottom of diamond two. I also notably went five and one since I changed the mana base. And you can see the deck at the beginning of the video to the end. The other thing I did was add Lunark Veterans, which certainly made a huge difference in one of my games. But a big reason for adding the Veterans is that Thran Portal went into the mana base and tapped lands largely got removed. All of them except for one Sundown Pass. The tapped land problem was serious it was the thing that was keeping me from being i think the best version of this deck in best of one thram portal fixes the problem at the cost of pain luminarch veteran can offset it and a lot of times the pain doesn't matter because they're already dead i really like the deck i think the war leaders calls are a huge addition and i think that the more uh reliable gleeful demolition is a very good calling card for the deck like it's a really good selling point for the deck but i didn't have the demolition hand that often when i had it i mean they just scoop on turn two but when you don't have it the deck can still win i had a lot of hands that were a couple of lands an anthem effect and found a way to win because you're just playing dorks and telling the opponent deal with it and the tools don't exist the decks that have a sweepers they play them for really expensive costs gix's command is five mana sunfall is five mana farewell is six mana they don't have that kind of time 
And if you don't have that kind of time, have I got a toilet gaming deck for you. Boros Convoke is one of the best decks in the format. I hate it, but we've got to learn to deal with it. At least it's not mono red. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool.